Oh, look who decided to arrive. Happy holidays, honey. You're late. Hi, honey. I'm so, so sorry. I had meetings after meeting after meeting. I'm never going to be late for anything. Can you please forgive me? I suppose. Have a seat. I got somebody coming in 30 minutes. I really didn't intend on making you go on my schedule, but it's just, ugh, I just feel like nobody understands me. Join the club. I had a rough day just like you did. Instead of meetings, I was just dealing with nonstop bullshit. I'm sorry. Jacket. <sighs> so, where are we going tonight? Well, I have a nice little function that I'm attending. Oh. And what look are you going for? Give me a nice bold eye. Oh, so you want to turn heads and break necks. Yes, I need to turn the heads of the men and the women. Oh, okay. <laughs> Got the perfect thing for you. A little makeup forever glitter never hurt a girl. Oh, that's what I like to hear. Hmm. So, how's this husband of yours? Oh, honey, we're not even going to talk about him. So, and let's talk about this. You being my date tonight. Oh, um, you're late. I got somebody coming in 30 minutes. I have nothing to wear. Oh, come on, Mason. Come on. I need you to show me all the haves and the have-nots in this town. And I know if anybody know who they are, <laughs> it's you. Well, I mean, I do know a lot of people. I know. I mean, I might have something else I could throw together real quick. Are you serious? Don't get too happy because I got to get you out of here. So let's get you oh, started. Oh, my God. I love you. Wait until you see the dress that I am wearing tonight. Huh, and what does it look like? I'm not telling you. You're going to have to wait to see just like everybody else. And just like you said, I will be breaking necks um, tonight. Hopefully yours doesn't get broken in the process. <laughs> Unless, um, yeah, somebody pull on my hair, which happens to be real. Oh, mm. no weed for you? <laughs> Not tonight. Oh, that's different. So how's the family, husband, business? You know what? Everything is just crazy. From my family to the job to my godforsaken marriage. I just don't even know who to trust anymore. I'm going through so much. Hmm. You don't have any brothers or sisters that you could talk to? I have a brother. But I can sure use a new one because the one that I have, I haven't spoken to in over 10 years. 10 years? 10 years. Why? What happened? Let's just say the family didn't accept his, um, you know, his little choices in life. Oh, I know how that feels. So, wherever my, my brother is, he better stay. Well, like Shakespeare, Oh, sounds like you got a lot to deal with, Miss Fallon. You know what? Sometimes, you know, it's just hard when, because I'm dealing with everything on my own. But... I know that that guy wouldn't put any more on me than I could be a child. Well, it is what it is. Yes, it is. Amen to that. So, um, what's going on with you? Uh, you know, life is great. You're late, but life is great. <laughs> I told you I'm sorry, and you're gonna love your tip. Uh, so, um, where is this person that's supposed to be coming to get their makeup done? Uh, she's late as well. All of y'all are late. I don't even know what's going on with y'all today. Like, I feel like everybody and their mother is against me. So we have a lot in common, and that's, this is why I choose you to be my friend in this town. Uh, everybody wants me to be my, be their friend. What about the friends that I need? I can be a good friend of you. Just don't call me when you need money all the time. Just call me when you want somebody to talk to as well. Excuse me. What you're not going to do is try me in my house. <laughs> okay? I have all the money that I need. Clearly, you sitting I'm here. you going to pay me. I'm you. Listen, I go through a lot because of my money. Oh. You know, everybody wants to be my friend because I have money. I want to be your friend, but only not when you need money. Well, you act like I came to you asking for money. You didn't. I'm just giving you a heads up not to. Oh, Miss Fallon, girl. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Seems like you have like a lot of problems. No, I don't have a lot of problems. I just have a lot of people that try to cause me problems. Oh, so why don't you start getting rid of those people? I will. And I, I'm starting with you. You're going to be one of my new little home skillets. Uh, home skillets. <laughs> That's a term we use in Georgia. Uh, it sounds like slang from up here. You sure you ain't been here before? No, I haven't been here before. Mm. So how's my eye coming along, honey? Oh, it's coming along quite nice. Mm. Where is my other client at? She is like running behind. Excuse me for a second. Yes! Mm. Oh, God, I just can't wait. Oh, there she is now. I'm sure you'll be breaking more heads like always. And you know it. Ronnie. Ronnie, you're early. I was in the neighborhood and oh, I just thought I'd come by. Oh, have a seat. I'm finishing all my last No, night. I didn't know you had company. Not Hi, Miss Devonport. Wait. Hi, Miss Richardson. Y'all know each other? You look nice. Going somewhere tonight? Yeah, thank you. But Ron is my name. Ronnie is for friends. You're not a friend yet. And I'm going to the art gallery opening downtown. Didn't no girls like you went to contemporary art. Yeah, what's a lot you don't know about me? Assumptions get to the ass out of you, honey, and you're an asshole. Hey, listen, go have a seat. Ouch! Have a seat. It wasn't something that I said. It had, excuse me, not in my house. 
What are the two? What's the problem with the two of y'all anyway? I don't mean to get all flustered in your humble abode. Just hurry up and finish me so I can go. And Mason, whatever look you're giving her, please give me the total opposite. Oh, shit. Whatever look he's giving me, give yes. you the opposite. Yes. You have no choice but to get the opposite because the look that he gives me, okay. he'll be enhancing my beauty. All right. With you, he'll be trying to find beauty. I told you before, don't right. come for me, don't come uh, excuse, for me. Excuse me, excuse me. I'm, I'm trying to tell no. her. Don't don't tell, I'm telling you to have a seat. No problem. And I'm asking you to stop, no or problem. you're going to have to leave and come back. Right. Keyword enhancing, but you have the look of desperation. Look of desperation? Uh, excuse me. Friday, can you even spell desperation? Honey, I don't need to spell desperation. It's written all over your big ass forehead. Really? Really. Listen, Let me tell you listen, something. Listen, listen, you listen. little pin up Barbie. Okay, listen, that, that is enough. Stop coming for me. Have a seat. Stop coming. Have a seat. Not in my house. Well, bro, Ronnie, you let me keep it cute. I'm I can't believe really two of y'all. Keep it cute? Ooh. Now you and I both mm. know that you can't keep it cute. Mm. You better get a Mason. Have a seat. You better get a... Have a seat. No sit down. Way. So will you be picking up a husband Listen, tonight? Listen, put your coat on. Since you can't seem to keep you can leave home. and come back <laughs> when it's your time. You know what you are. You're nothing more than a miserable, oh. broke, right. salon owner who right. lives vicariously through the lives yes, of a gay man that works in her shop all right, all right. because Fallon, she does not have a life right. of her own. Fallon and Ronnie, not in my right. house. This is not what you right. write. I know I'm right. Okay. And you're always wrong. Okay. All right. She be wrong, you be right, but sit down. No problem. Oh, my God. I can't. I don't even know which way to go. Mason, can you please bring me a drink, honey? So I'll have time for this. How bad taste? Ronnie! Jealous bitch! Get it out. tastes empty! Like your bank account! And your bed! Bye, Ronnie. Yeah, maybe so! Ghetto jealous bitches! I can't believe this! I am so sorry, Mason! Uh, let me just get you a but towel. Baby! Oh, God. <sighs> Y'all are like trailer park trash! No, she's trailer park trash! Coming into my establishment asking me can she borrow fifty thousand dollars get your friends together because they're not on your level you need to check your company that you keep because they bringing you down Listen, this bitch is playing me. I've had it. She's got two weeks, but I'm not giving it to her. I want her fucking dead. This is it. When I call you back in two hours, I expect you to have what I asked for. If not, you'll be looking for another job. Boots. I didn't want to do that to my girlfriend. <laughs> Baby, that was too much. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Rico. Oh, he so was sorry. breaking up that fight, honey. <laughs> well, as you can see, we're live right now. Triangle is me, Mason, a.k.a. Jason Bowman. It's Christina Porter, uh, Fallon Davenport. Kennedy Lee, Rhonda Richardson. And we just got done filming. So and when I tell you all that Fallon got gashed, <laughs> baby, are you still wet? I'm still wet, you know. Mm, that's all right. And your bed is empty. And my bed is empty as hell. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Ronnie Richardson, honey. This scene was a little bit too much for me. She right got now. me straight. We, got we, went right it. It. we went right through it, though. We went right through it. We went right through it. Right through it. We're naturals. Mm -hmm. Happy holidays, everybody. Hope everybody Happy enjoyed New Year's. that. Merry Christmas. Happy Kwanzaa. Happy Hanukkah. Um, you, get ready. We're coming back live and direct <laughs> January. If you didn't catch up on the last nine episodes, please make sure that you do because it's about to be hot. In the meanwhile, I need a dry shirt. <laughs> this was so fun. I love my cast. I she really is, do. <laughs> oh, but she's gagging though, baby. <laughs> so wait, how she did it go? No how did it go this time? This time you were the one getting the drink thrown. But real quick, Mason, give a little bit of background of like how you and Fallon, like him, those haven't seen how y'all came to meet and describe like the embarking friendship and stuff. I mean, we came to meet at the bar. You know, I, I thought Fallon was a very nice female. You know, I liked her shoes. I liked her bag. Um, you know, from there, you know, I'm, I'm a caddy and I like to talk to people. So I saw that she was, you know, a businesswoman that just came into town. I wanted to kind of get to know her and kind of figure her out a little bit, you know, build another ally. So, you know, that's how we kind of 
built yeah. this friendship and she was late to her appointment today. <laughs> you know I do not play with my time, okay? <laughs> Him and his time. My time is my money, don't you do that? I enjoy working with Mason, aka Jason, because it's like we're just naturals together. It's yeah. like, you know, we make a mistake, we pick up, and keep, keep it pushing. We just feed off of each other's en energy, and I just, I love it. It's and I want to also say thank you to everybody who believes in comments, whether positive or negative, about my character. Um, a lot of people do know that I am a makeup artist, you know, outside of my character, but it's kind of interesting playing Mason because Mason is kind of similar to Jason, but on a lot of different levels. So it's not like I'm just playing myself, like I'm actually being somebody that I'm really not. Mason is a lot more calm what, no, than Jason. Jason is Jason actually, would have read me up at that door no, if I was late. No. So Mason was nice. Jason Prodigy would have read you up at the door. <laughs> but Jason Bowman, nah. Anybody that like knows me and my makeup artistry, they know Jason that. Jason Bowman takes a lot of shit. I take me. a lot of shit from my clients and at the end of the day I want my money, baby. You know what I'm saying? But I do charge a late fee, and she did oh, give me okay. a fat tip, so you know, we good, we good. Okay. You know, Fallon got coins. <laughs> Fallon ain't got no husband. <laughs> and that's fine, because she can buy one with her coins. Oh, another gay one? It doesn't yeah, matter. Another gay one.